Hey guys, welcome back to Experimental RC. I haven't done a video in a long time, but I think this will make up for it. Um, so we're at the field, uh, Goonie Bird. We're in Florence, South Carolina. Uh, about yesterday, they done a big drawing and some planes you can win. I won this plane. I'm so happy I won it because it's an awesome plane. Um, it is the E-Flight um, Valiant. You can get it from HorizonHobby.com. Uh, I'm using the recommended battery of a 11.1 volt 2200 3S LiPo. It uses the EC3 connector. Um, most of my batteries are all XT60, so I just have got a little plug that converts it to um, EC3. I'm using my DX6. Uh, it does have safe AS3X and this regular plane mode, which I like to call it. Uh, it has uh, flaps. So it has your standard flaps, it has the ailerons, the rudder, the elevator, everything like that. Awesome wheel pants, um, especially with the scheme of the plane. Um, if you guys don't know, they actually sell a 10cc gas version of this, which is all balsa, which is kind of awesome. Um, so it comes, every servo, everything pre-installed, all you need is your transmitter, battery, and charger. Um, comment down below if I can use a 4S, because I'm wondering about that. I've looked around and no one really says what battery to use except the recommended battery. But I think that's pretty much it. So it has a little cool little bay at the bottom where you like turn this little knob. It reminds me of a little um, servo arm. You just turn it and you pull it open and you have your battery. And this is what I think is like the best part of the airplane. So this right here, if you're any kind of person like me and you come to the field and you forget your remote's not binded or something like that you don't got to take all four screws off and get to the receiver all you have to do is plug your bind plug into there so you don't have to get to your receiver or anything which i think is awesome 30 amp e-flight um esc i'm i'm not 100 percent sure so i'm not going to say anything about the motor um so that's pretty much it it's all made out of foam which you probably know um um, it uses a, can't really see it, but I know it's .75 by 8 something, so that's the prop. Um, but the assembly went very smooth, but for one part, which was to put the rudder and elevator on, had a little issue with that because um, the one of the, one of the screws were just given a fit because it would not go in. So um, someone helped me with that, thank you. Um, here at the field because I wanted the flap same day I got it. So yeah, I'm using my DX6 over there on the ground, which I should not leave it on the ground. But that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and go through the connecting sequence and things like that. So first of all, you're gonna want to go ahead and turn your transmitter on. You have to have a DSM2 or DSMX transmitter for this plane. Um, it's on. So we have our timer set for five minutes. I got up to seven minutes. It still had the 30% left on the battery. So I'm giving it a little, I'm holding a little bit. I don't want all the weight on the motor. So I'm just gonna flip it over now. We're gonna hold it. There's all aluminum uh, landing gear spars. So if you break that, you might need to go to a simulator a little bit. But we're gonna put the battery in here. Comes with also Velcro straps. Uh, that in and go ahead and power on the aircraft. You'll hear these beeps. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and put the door on, sit it down, and it's time to wait for it to do a little. So it does everything twice, just so. It won't, so, because that's what you want to use safe and stuff. Now, to be honest, I don't think safe is for a landing and takeoff, but I've done it. My mom was behind the camera. She was flying it. It was kind of cool. I would put the safe switch and let everything go, and it would come in perfect to land. So if you're not the best at landings, it does help. Um, so you have the flaps. Now, it's kind of weird. So I was binding it. I binded it yesterday. I didn't get the ability to use safe yesterday. I was training a kid also, so that would have been awesome if I had safe. But so I have safe on this switch, so I have 
stability mode and normal mode, which is just normal flying. So um, I was I could not figure out how to get the safe on a switch because I don't like flying with safe all the time. So I found out how to do it. Uh, there'll be a video coming soon about that because it's super easy to do. Um, so I uh, also so I also done this right here. So I made it where it's kind of scale. So when I flip the switch, that's all the way, and look at the flaps. When we do it again, let's look at that. It's super slow. So there's some good movement in there. Um, everything moves. And it's kind of weird. So if you got a like a, a Delta Wing, which I reviewed the 100 mile an hour plane. If you hold left and you flip the safe, you can see the aileron go down a little bit. So I'm gonna flip the safe. Look at the ailerons. The aileron does not move, so it still lets you turn that fast, but it won't let you bank outside of the angle. So let's go ahead and get it on the runway. Yep. So when I thought when I got the wheel, when I look at the wheels, you could just look at the wheels and think, hey, it's not gonna take off on grass. But I will show you that in a minute. I want to show you, you can actually drive it. Very easy on the grass too. I just give, I just give full elevator up to keep that tail down, and it just rolls perfectly. So let's go ahead and come over here behind one of the pilot stations. Um, so I'm gonna roll it over there onto the runway. Now, it's unlike the timber, it takes off fast. This one takes off smooth. It's just two different kind of airplanes. Um, so I'm gonna line it up on the runway. Make sure our control surfaces work good. Okay, so this time I'm just gonna take off in regular mode, fly in regular mode, and then I'm gonna take off and do it in safe mode. So here's regular mode. Let's give half flaps because there's a little bit of wind. Beautiful. Let's get off those flaps. Now you can see it looks like a little plane that's just made for little sunny little flights, and it's just a smooth little airplane, but this thing can go fast. I mean, and it can also do some maneuvers and it isn't like a little slow plane. That's what I really didn't like about it when I got it. I thought you couldn't do any maneuvers with it, but I've actually was able to do a hover earlier. Let me see if I can do it again. But yeah, see, look, it's kind of very hard, but you can still do it, um, barely, but you could do, it, it's, a, it has some power to hold it up. Um, I think if you set your travel just a little bit more, I'm doing it right now, yeah. So I think if you set your travel just a little bit more, you'll be able to um, save that torque just a little bit. So here's flying. Well, let's do full flaps. And let's just give a little bit of power and see how slow we can get it without it stalling. So this is not on stability mode or safe mode or anything. This is all just normal flying. Look how slow that thing's going. Look at that, okay. Um, let's go ahead and see, it has some vertical power too, so this is full throttle. You can go complete vertical, and then you can do some tricks and stuff on the way down. But, um, so let's go ahead and land it. So let's come ahead. I'm gonna do full flops on this one. Let's get it from away from the pilot station. Let's come and land. Let's get into the wind. So let's go into a land. This thing lasts forever. Oh, a bounce there. Um, so you heard that landing gear. That landing gear can take a pretty good hit, and it actually is kind of bouncy. And you also got a lawnmower if you want one. Just saying. So you don't have to go out for spring something and buy a lawnmower or whatever. So it comes with a lawnmower feature built in. Um, let's go ahead. Okay, now it's time for safe. So I'm not gonna do a complete hands off takeoff. Hands off takeoff. Sounds kinda nice. So safe mode. And I'm gonna get a full flaps. And I'm just gonna see what happens. If it starts coming this way or starts going off course, I will take control. But I'm just gonna add a little throttle, see my hands are not on there. Look at that, look at that, look at that. That's better than I could fly. Look, I'm not look, I'm not touching anything, guys. Look at it. I'm not touching anything. Look at the angle at which it took off. It's flying straight too. Um, it's into the wind. So now we're just gonna go ahead and turn. Let's say if I was a new person, I wanted to turn, let's hold it all the way. Look at that. 
Zoom in another plane over there. See how it's not flipping at all. It's staying at a perfect altitude, just circling. I need to have more power, but it's it's just circling all the way. Let it go, and it levels off. Um, and that's into the wind, so let's go a like tailwind and see if it actually does still go up. And I let everything go. Let's get it from over the pilot stations. A little bit more throttle, and it just goes, and it still has a little bit of the climbing because the tailwind, of course, but it still has a little bit of that climbing. So now let's go ahead and try to do the vertical bit of it. So let's go full throttle and all, hold it all the way up. See? It does not want to flip. It just spins a little bit. You let everything go and it levels off. Now, to, so I can kill some time, I'm gonna flip off the safe mode and I'm just gonna do some spins coming down. Okay. Now, let's see if I get in trouble, okay? Because as pilots are not always perfect. So let's go up, let's flip a little bit and I flip the switch, I'm not touching anything. Zero power, zero power. See, look, I'm not even touching anything. Look, zero power. And it's gliding. So it's coming to do a landing. Let's do a safe landing. Let's see if we can do a safe landing. So, full flaps. It glides forever, I told you. I might lose some altitude. Uh, let's turn the bleed off some of that altitude. Give a little more power. So I'm going to line up, and I'm not going to touch the radio at all. Look at that. I got a little bit of power, but that is not a bad landing for safe. I mean, it isn't the best landing, but it's not the worst landing either. So it also does the automatic takeoff in grass. Watch out, just go one time around and show you. So preferably, if you are taking off in grass, slightly give about a quarter um, elevator up because what happens is this is a tail dragger. The two wheels in the front will get caught and flip over. So let's go ahead and give a little bit of up. And we're just going to slightly go into throttle, full throttle, and it takes off. And let everything go and it goes up. Same for landings. It's very awesome. Let's go ahead and come and land. Let's, do, let's try to do a scale landing, okay? Let's do a scale landing. Let's throw on the grass. This is a nice flying airplane. Um, I do say there is um, I don't know I don't know how it flies weird, but it's a good weird. Like it likes to fly. I I killed like the event yesterday. I killed the power up here. I glided all the way around and landed with zero power, and I still hit the end of the runway. So it glides forever. Um, there's tons of videos on this airplane. So make sure to go look at some more videos. But this thing is awesome. I believe if you go ahead and get it now with the link down below, um, it's nothing to do with the link down below, but just go ahead and check it out if you want to. They went down from 230 to 169. Um, so go ahead and check that out. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and fly. I'll see you guys later, bye.